Hi there. You're watching Brain Shatter. That's juicy. <laughs> Hello, this is Carlos the Fish. Sorry for the noise. It's a busy road. I'm here on the Tennessee 109 up in Portland, Tennessee, doing another road sign. You know you see these road signs from time to time. You think, hey, that's probably full of cool facts and I'll learn about it someday. <laughs> you are lying. But now you can do this while you poop. You can listen to me read it to you or you can read along yourself. Okay, let's do it. This is number 3B49, Cold Spring School, circa 1857 to 1933. 2.8 miles northeast is the site of Cold Spring School. It was built on land donated in May 1857 by Thomas Baskerville. Like the Hounds of Baskerville? For a school and meeting house. Early in the Civil War, it was used by Camp Trousdale as a military hospital. There in 1866, David Lipscomb organized the Portland Church of Christ. Landowners Jim and Bill McLaughlin gave the schoolhouse to the citizens of Portland for a museum of local history. In September 1975, it was relocated to Richland Park. Huh, I'll have to go check it out and see it. All right, so. I am finishing this video up. We finally made it over here. This is the historic Spring, Cold Springs School, circa 1857. Preservation supported by Highland Rim Historical Society. And here is the old school. Let's go check it out. Maybe we can learn something. Check out the bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ding, 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 ding. Ha <laughs> ha, ding, ding. Cool little old building. Old school door, old school doorknob. It's lifted off the ground. Oh, and look, signs for me to read. <clears throat> Cold Spring School Museum, a heritage project of the city of Portland's Bicentennial Community Program, 1975 to 1977, with grant monies from the American Revolution Bicentennial Administration and the Tennessee American Revolution Bicentennial Commission, Historic Cold Spring School was restored as a museum of local history by the Highland Rim Historical Society and the city of Portland. And of course, it is closed. So I can't show you that. There is an abacus. It's like a calculator, but much older. I will include a snapshot after this. Cold Spring School, site of Camp Trousdale. In May 1861, the Tennessee General Assembly passed legislation to raise and equip the Provisional Army of Tennessee and train the units at camp throughout the state. Camp Trousdale was established initially at Richland, present-day Portland, as the main concentration point for companies formed in Middle Tennessee. The camp was named for former Governor William Trousdale of, Ga of Gallatin, General Felix K. Zollicoffer, 1812-1862, was its first commander, with his headquarters at the home of Thomas Bunton near the present Maple Hill Cemetery. Because of a lack of potable water, potable Camp Trousdale moved in June to an area of wide rolling fields near the one-room Cold Spring School that Thomas Baskerville had constructed in 1857. The school served as a regiment hospital, regimental hospital 
Soon, more than 6,000 men were drilling at the camp, and some of the sick were treated at the school building. Uh, later, Camp Trasdale relocated to present-day TGT Road, again because of water contamination, the only barracks in the state that housed Confederate troops were built there, then raised in February 1862 before Union forces arrived and occupied the area. Federal troops under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Gustavos Tafels, 106th Ohio Volunteer Infantry Regiment, subsequently fortified the Louise, Louisville and Nashville Railroad, constructing Fort Mitchell to guard the nearby trestle. Fort Smith, named for Colonel George P. Smith, 129th Illinois Infantry, served as a temporary railhead to receive and ship Union supplies by wagons to Nashville. We are getting on very well, except for the measles and mumps. And the dysentery. Our men would be in fine health. So far as my regiment is concerned, there is perfect order and discipline. Colonel Robert Hatton, 7th Tennessee Infantry, June 21st, 1861. Here is a picture of the school. And here is a scroll flask and 36 caliber Navy Colt bullet mold found at the Camp Trousdale site. Oh, so this was what they used to make the bullet form. Cool. All right, let's float around. So there are steps to the school. And there is another window we can poke through. Well, it's nice and clean inside. Let's see. Let's go around the building. Ooh, look at that. A fancy, fancy brick fireplace. It's quite large. I am quite large. Very cool. I think there's, there's wasps. Very dangerous. You go first. Cool desks. Look at that ornate design. That is great. I think that's it. Nice big video for a change. Very informational. Did you learn something? Were you pooping? Okay, this is Carlos the fish saying goodbye. Don't you want to touch that button? Check it out.